Okay, welding time. Uh, today the goal is uh, package tray and passenger side door jam. A uh, certain amount of repair. So let's go at it. First I'm going to start by cleaning this up, flattening it all out and getting it ready to weld and then we're going to weld everything that's savable then we're going to cut off the stuff that's not. This is actually a bit of a problem. Um, since I'm going to be building the skin out here it would be a lot easier to make that without having to make that and this at the same time. So I'm going to make this inner jam here as a separate piece and then we'll stop it there and weld it to this guy after. Nevertheless that is a fairly complex shape with a lot of compound curves in it so we're going to have to do some some fancy uh, trimming here. So uh, make a pattern and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the pattern once I get it cut out here. There's an approximate layout of what we're trying to make. Here it is, transferred onto the steel. It's pretty heavy, but whatever. It's never going to rust again, that's for sure. So, the notches are just reliefs to save a whole bunch of shrinking. There will be plenty of shrinking and stretching on this as it is. And uh, we're going to just get started bending it up now. See how she goes. Now we have to get the shape of the uh, door and jam in here. So we've made a little template. This will give us the curvature. It's probably very similar to that of that guy. And if we use that corner there. If we use that bottom corner as our datum. We can see how much we have to curve that so that it will wrap around so that it will wrap around this edge nicely. This uh, will have to be stretched also uh, otherwise it's not going to work so stretch there shrink there this should start to assume that kind of shape. All right that's next. All right there we are kind of uh, ready to start fitting it up the uh, cut the old one off there wasn't really much else we could do with that no loss this guy actually sits on top of there pretty nice left it big on every side always leave it bigger than it needs to be trim it up later it's hard to make it bigger sits in there pretty close I'm gonna start fine-tuning it and tacking it and uh, We'll fold it over when we're done to leave something to weld the outer skin to, and it should be uh, a pretty pretty seamless repair, actually. Pretty content, really, for really less than a couple hours into that, so not too, uh, not too bad. Okay, just three or four tacks holding it in place so that we can close the door and trim it up and fit the gap, and then we'll uh, drill a few holes, plug weld it, as per and weld the cut together in the corner here and we will be pretty close to finish that part of that and that is uh, it's good because that was one of the trickier pieces that we're gonna have to do I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with it looks pretty good so far and uh, there we have it that uh, turned out very nicely and it's not gonna give any trouble and the uh, the door shuts nicely against it, and there's lots of room for adjustment, and uh, make for a much nicer repair on everything else. We welded the jam to the rocker now. It's very <laughs> still some work. Okay, uh, next is, next we're going to weld the inner uh, quarter panel window mechanism mounting panel 
to the rocker along the rocker panel seam using the original uh, holes from where we drilled out the spot welds. Then we're going to move on to the wheel arch. Okay. We're just going to do it live. Uh, oh, damn it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> the triumphant return of Dean. Yeah, we're, right? we're back. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, Plymouth update? Oh, yeah, I've, I've lost a lot of time. Yeah, we could so actually bring in Dean up yeah, to speed on right. the Plymouth, right? No, it's looking good, though, that you've mocked up the spirit corner and stuff, eh? Isn't that beautiful? You can well, that's a pattern, right? Mm -hmm. But the car fits quite well. Okay. Uh, we said we would uh, un home very much uh, get, the, get it together, the Barrett. Very little hair that I have left. Eh? Yeah, so it I looks pretty decent if I'm down here. Well, I said to the hairdresser, could you, like, you know, make it look like I have hair? And she's like, like I'm not a magician, I'm, I'm a hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, getting old now. Oh. Old, eh? Well, old and shitty. Yeah. Feeling it in my back and bones, you know. <laughs> old, old grumpy old man pretty soon, eh? Hey? Uh, more grumpy? No. Well, sometimes. I think Dean, <laughs> Dean is actually the least grump, grumpy person I've ever met. Yeah. Really, you are. Yeah, like, really, eh? I'm, a, I'm like a tyrant. And <laughs> you're, just, uh, you're just like, yeah, unshakable. Whoa. Look at that. 60 oh, Plymouth that? Fury owner's manual. Wow. Unbelievable. That is awesome that these people are sending you these great things. I just love so all this. So cool, hey? I just love all this literature, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can still get Power Flight in 60. Okay. Controls for safety. There. Uh, yeah. So look at wow. even the little mail card is still in there. Wow! Get out of here, hey! Oh my God, that's great. Yeah, that's cool, hey. And that we should just put that in the glove box right now. Really, sure. go go for it, buddy. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the dash is pretty well kept right now. So yes, yeah, that goes right in there. It's awesome. I also have the accessory one from Mike in the other shop. Oh, really? Yeah, so that can go in there too. And then we'll have to get some period maps and chuck them in the little map holder thingy there. See how nice that works? Yeah. All that, man, a lot of time. Just runs so good to just turn the key and away it goes. It's wow, awesome. yeah. healthy engine. Yep. Seems to run, not a drip come out of it either. So that's pretty exciting. The new pieces gapped in with the rest of the car. Yes. Looks really good for the gap too. You did a great job. Well, this was what it brings me to. Yeah. Come over here and let me show you this. See how the door, yeah. it's supposed to fit flush with the quarter here. Right, it does. It, it does, this door fits beautifully. Mm -hmm. And now observe, where this panel, can you see? Yeah. Yep, come here. See, okay, there's the door jam panel. Yes. There's the quarter panel right here. And it's welded on top of that guy. Yeah. And that is the weld right there beside that screw that holds this piece to this piece. And see, that fits right corner to corner. You see yeah. how nicely, oops, see how nice that fits right here? Yeah. Okay, let's go look at the other side. Because you see on this side of the car, yep, that door works. fits really nice. Sure. This side of the car, I keep wondering why the door sits low. Or no, yeah, low. Look at it. Okay. Look at here. Yeah. We're almost a quarter of an inch higher than it should be. See that? Right from factory. Well, that's a factory thing, yeah. Yeah. So, um... Why don't we here have a close of the door lightly? Yeah. Okay. See? Oh. Oops. Is see that? It's just it's like three sixteenths of an inch. Oh wow! And That's it's just not going away. Probably factory. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we fix that? Oh, okay. Do you think that'd to. be cool? I would like to, because you know the thing is yeah, when you nice. do something like this, all of the critics are just gonna sit there, and then something like that, they'll be like, oh. The car is a wreck. You just cobbled that together, even though that's a factory mistake. I will, I will get blamed for that. I leave it factory because that's the way it came. No, I don't like it. Really? Uh-oh, uh we disagree. 
60 years ago, some guy on a Friday afternoon whistled that together. Yeah, he wanted to drink. He liked to drink, right? Go hey, we like buddy. a drink. Yeah, he wanted to go booze it up with his buddies. He was yeah, like, he wasn't, his mind wasn't on the gaps. He was gapping. He was gapping out. <laughs> We drill that weld out and push that down and re-weld it because then I can move on. Uh, I'm going to be cutting it that you know, along here and welding it to this yellow guy. This high up? Well, look at how trashed all this is. It's just garbage. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. It's, it's just in terrible condition. Yeah. But I think a nice start would be to align that because it's the only thing that doesn't really fit. Doesn't fit everything I mean, else. I know, it's, the front of the door's got to come in. That's another uh, small challenge. Okay. But, but that might be, uh, and, yeah. yeah, I think we'll just do this uh, door gap thing here. Okay. Like, uh, this is the problem, is that it has to fit, like, better than a new car. Otherwise, people would be like, oh, you just hacked that together. Yeah. Anyways. Hack at her. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where's the well? Wow, that's pretty ferocious, eh? That's in. Okay, well, I think the first thing to do is we have to take this guy off. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Okay. One. It is what I figured, just one tab that sticks up, and she's just, I think, just up way too high on there. It looks like the weld is right behind here. Okay. Is that it there, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> just blow through, and then there'd have to be a guy who would fix all that shit before it could get painted. Nice. That How'd that go for it. you? Yeah. Let's have a look. No. There. See, we can move it quite easily now. Oh wow. So. You huh. find a way to lever that down. Oh, is that is it flexible now? You can actually move it. Well, the next weld is somewhere way down oh, here. Oh, gotcha. So let's just see how it pivots yeah. here. Yep. That's it's so thin. Okay. So if we do this. We can follow it. Wow, man. Yeah, there's the next one there. Okay. So we're just kind of hoping to more or less change the angle here. Uh -huh. It's going to just bend a little bit, and all we need is an eighth of an inch, and we're good. Okay, cool. Let's see. Then it'll just fit that little bit nicer. Okay. Any, you know, okay. I bet you, with a couple of passes, yeah, we might have to do it up more than once. Let's just see what we can get. Without too terribly much effort. Oh, I see what you're doing. Cool. Yeah, so what we'll do is preload it a bit and then I'm going to hit it with a piece of wood. Exactly, take the, the stress out of it, right? Okay. I'm mostly going down because it's not going to need any help bending. Huh? Let's see, we're already moved. Oh yeah, you moved, a bit, uh, moved it a little bit there. Yeah. Good. So we'll keep going. Okay. Huh. 
can really tighten it. Clean it all out. Yeah, I see. Now we're getting somewhere, right? So I'm going to put another tack in it. Then we're going to just tap, just tighten that back up a bit to its inside buddy there. And that'll uh, fix that little tight spot there. Okay. File that little spot there when we're done. Okay. And it's going to fit uh, as good or better than new. Well, obviously better than new because we just fixed all the factory parts. That's just so much better and really uh, didn't even take that long. So I'm just going to button up the hole and uh, that's it. That is a much nicer fit and it wasn't bad before, but that's just a little bit nicer. All right, that is our uh, repair to the quarter door jam area. Nice flush now. And uh, yeah, not much to it. Really, we only had to drill out two welds that were very close together. And got to do a little bit of that's there's no damage there, it's just surface rust, so that'll clean up. And that's it. Just weld it back up, put it back together. See, it sits nice and properly tight on there now. And uh, you know, made a really nice fit out of uh, out of a really pretty average fit. So, right on, how's it going on the welds, uh, Dean? Good, um, just pilot drilling these spot welds as best they can and then maybe have to go through them again with a bigger tool bit. Yeah, no worries pilot for now yeah. and then uh, we'll have to do them in here Yeah. Oh, okay. and then the rest of it should pop off. Yeah. Okay. The rest, these are all done. Well, I mean they're not even there because I did them when it was still on the other car. Oh, okay. You did? Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Huh. So, right, so all you got to do, you know, how are you doing? Oh, you're just about done. Right on. Yeah. Okay, then we'll go along with a bigger bit and yeah. Is Cut them the out of there. Want to set me up with a bigger bit? You betcha. I welded the uh, window channel panel, or whatever it's called, down there. Now we're going to go up the side here, and for that, it's just as easy to crawl inside the car and do it. So I'm going to crawl in here and then we're going to do these guys. I see that I sanded that in the wrong place, so I'll have to reach under there and sand that. Pretty small change. This looks like it should be welded to here. That doesn't look like it should be like that. That'll probably... Yeah, that's not a big deal, but that we'll have to deal with. And then down to the x brace there at the bottom. So actually it's going to start moving along pretty fast now. Hey, quit with the noise. How's that? I'm trying to. Oh, sorry. Trying to make TV magic here. I'm just try yeah, I'm just Here's trying to get this panel separated. Then you said we have to go have, like. Um, well, then I said we could geez. go have pizza. I just thought we'd show this uh, <laughs> other opportunity to address a factory uh, oversight. Okay. You can see that this panel is supposed to be welded to the deck panel. Let's see. See. There's a hole in oh, the yeah. back panel that you're supposed to put a weld in, mm -hmm. and they didn't do it. They didn't do it from the factory? Right. So I'm going to address that while we're here. Okay, yeah. Fix, right here. fix this. This one's blown as well. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, and okay. then we're going to nail this guy down, cool. and it'll all be straight. And then I'm on to here. I'm going to run down this at the same time. This is all very, actually lined up really nice and fits really well. So Good. Easy. Okay. Okay. Back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Back to work. Yes. What are you doing? Why'd you stop drilling? <laughs> I'm, I'm well on my way. What happened to your safety glasses? Oh yeah, they're quite fogged up by now, 
still. By now, still. <laughs> no, they're good. Yeah, man, coming along nicely. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, this uh, looks like it's had some repair. We're gonna melt an old lead repair out of the corner. Let's have her Dean. Get her going. Mostly here. Hey, Propane. look at that. These are the good parts. That's what's fun about this. Yeah. Get, what are you putting your hands on? Right. <laughs> yeah. No, you're it's the one that's going to burn yourself. Oh, it's all, it's pretty messy in there, right, isn't it? It's not particularly good. Let's uh, clean it up to see what that So, yeah, it looks like, I, can you tell where the hit was? Hmm, not yet, but, no. I mean, somewhere in that area. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> splitting the seam along the top of the fin so we can get the outside of the quarter panel off so that we can embark on the mm -hmm. rust repair panel program. Dean, how's that going? Uh, good, and uh, I'll just take that from here. Scott, thank you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway, so look at, Scott's got the rear bracing almost welded up. And so you're taking this rear panel off, I guess, and you're gonna try and rebuild the whole panel as a complete quarter panel, right? When it's off, Scott? Or not really, well, not really, eh? I don't know how much of it I'm going to do. Okay. I was going to make the whole thing, but now I think, well, maybe, why make all this? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So, good point. Maybe just, uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll just repair this, or lengthen this yellow panel and repair the big dent in it. Oh. Fix all the rust. On right. It. Yeah, the big dent. There is. Yeah. Isn't that gnarly? But got a little damage on the end here, but whatever. Oh, there yeah, you can yeah. See. Oh, yeah. You... We didn't really do too much, just right? Once it's off, we'll just hammer this all nice and flat, okay? Right? So you yeah. don't have to worry too much if you yeah. damage it a bit. It'll be fine. Okay, we got the deck lid off, and then we can drill out those last few welds, then the quarter can come off. I okay, think. all right. See you guys. Okay, this is free and easy. Free and easy down there she goes, right? Free and easy down the road I go. I get with my blow. Easy down the road I go. Okay. So you're zipping it now? Yep. I'm gonna zip it off at the bottom because it's bottom. poop anyway. Look at this piece of garbage. <laughs> oh my god. What a travesty. Why are you calling your car garbage for? Huh? <laughs> it's just <laughs> fucking garbage, man. <laughs> garbage. So a few molecules holding it together. Thank <laughs> you. 
close, fellas. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think. Oh, it's going to let us go. What? It's, uh, we're, I think we're ready to take it off, buddy. Whoa. Okay. Get out of here. Yeah, I hope so. Get out of here. No. That would be a good way to finish up today, I think. What are you doing? Oh, I was just going to clamp this. Whoa. <laughs> just so, so that we have a right? reference when we put it back together. Oh, Just so I, I know, because it's all fit pretty good. It did. So yeah. why not aim for that when we put it back? Because we we'll still be able to move it, but why waste any time? If we know that this was. Well, oh, you're clamping your air pound. You're trying. Yeah, I'm clamping the one that we're leaving on the car. Okay, that's all. We're not drilling anything out of there, so we're just cutting that hole. You guys watch yourselves. Yeah. That's collision damage, okay. buckled. And uh, this needs to get straightened. And I'll yeah. probably end up making the whole bottom of this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right? Super fun. Not really. Uh, but we have to do something. The top is good, so this is easy. Mm -hmm. Just cut that off, make a new one. Except for right here, a little bit more of a challenge. But what? Yeah. Why? Well, because it's compound curves here. Oh, okay. So it has to, you have to stretch all this into shape. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, so it'll be a fun little, but if I make that, I mean, there's a plenty there for a pattern. Yeah. And then we straighten out the collision damage. We yeah. can straighten out the quarter now quite easily. This is all mint. This is all the Dodge. It's mint. So we just weld the Plymouth to the Dodge here. Nice. Right? Ta-da! Ta We're good. Right? Weld the Plymouth to the Dodge, yeah. weld the Plymouth to the car piece that fits either. Yeah. Uh, zing, zing. And then one big, long, or a pretty big, long butt weld there. That's going to be a pain in the ass. The butt weld? Just to weld this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Nice huge pain. Make a nice fit. Yeah. Now we can, oh, there's the dip. The dip line, see? Oh yeah. I came out of the dip and spray. Look Is at that what, ha what happened there, Scott? Like in the factory? Maybe? Yeah, well they used to dip them in primer. See the line? And if you follow that, look at it, it lines up on the Plymouth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the pri so they, they dip them? They dip the bodies? Yeah, they dip the bodies in primer. Then, like, Why only up to that high? Like, well, I guess they figured that they were right. This isn't where they rust. You know? This is where it they rust. It was just that the bottoms were falling out of them after three years. So. 
<laughs> you buy your bride in Plymouth and it's yeah, it just be shot. Yeah. So you gotta cut this dog leg off, we gotta cut all this shit off now. So Oh not that red dog. No. Yeah, it's poo. What no? Oh, it's grandpa poo. Look. What? You'll put your hand in there. Okay. What the fuck? Oh weird. Not yeah. weird, it's shit. It's, it's just like you calling in a bunch of yeah. It's just fire glass. Okay. Just I see what you want. Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> Cut the grandpa poo out of there. Cut the grandpa yeah. poo out of there. Cool. So, um, yeah, pretty pretty exciting to get that going. All right. Very excited. Uh, next, uh, right? Next one to start on that. I thought this collision damage on the corner of the car was actually slightly interesting. Bring it over here with us. There we go and uh, thought maybe we'd have a look at it and have a go at fixing it uh, just to make everything else easier and uh, yeah just have a look at how this stuff folds up <laughs> let's take this off of here so the car has been hit roughly there you can see the quarter let's zoom in on that that what looks like that big body line at the end about in the middle of the screen there uh, that's not supposed to be there. That's actually folded right in. So it had to be hit pretty good. Maybe pushing it around in a, or in a traffic accident. Who knows? Uh, pretty caved here. Um, but uh, this, when you separate the panels, now this is really not that not that bad to get at. Also interesting. Up here you can see a pretty sharp dent on the outside of this fin. That, would have been almost impossible to fix when it happened without cutting the car open like this, which they would never have done. So they've leaded it and uh, kind of uh, quickly painted over it. Probably happened when the car was fairly new because that's all gas welded and lead and lacquer primer. Uh, I don't see any other evidence of repairs on the yellow clip. Uh, that could have even happened when the car was new, but probably within the first few years. Nevertheless, made it impossible to drill out the welds there because they've all just been welded solid. So I just cut it right down the middle there. We're going to bang it out the best we can. We're not making that kind of car here. Got to straighten up this flange and got some pretty bad damage where the light must have been pushed through it when it got hit. This is all actually collapsed here. That's a bit of a challenge. That's probably the toughest part of the repair. Maybe hard to see. There, uh, that's collapsed. And it has, this is all folded in. This should be a single plane from here down, not all twisted off like that. So overall, a pretty interesting little repair and we're just gonna pound that out. So we'll start with pushing this back out. That's the most uh, difficult part of the whole job right there. This is all pretty straightforward. Here's our first actual look at the damage on the on the yellow car's quarter. It's uh, it's actually pretty substantial because when that came ahead, it has put a huge bow in the side of the car. Like this is kicked out probably two inches further out than it should be from the center of the car, and. Um, whoop, where's the, it's not a particularly easy thing to work with. You can see a little bit of the damage on the top corner. That's uh, pretty hard to see, but we'll get that a little better and melt that lead out of there and, and touch it up a bit. Uh, yeah, this huge mountain here is what we're up against. That's This should all be flat right to there. Probably from the edge of the bumper it is actually... Uh, just punched right through the side of it there. So before we can get too carried away making the rust repair panels, we should make the Make everything straight and fit and then we will uh, lengthen this quarter uh, We're gonna lengthen this All the way up to the door and then uh, weld it all out and Then we'll put it all back on as one piece and that uh, should do should do a nice job. Uh, so, collision damage first, and then we're going to start making the the extension to the quarter here. 
Okay, at this point I've just very rudely hammered that back. Essentially just beating on it here until that folded back out. Blocking it up here with a piece of wood behind there so that, that it would fold back out like that. Everything is, everything is very, very badly stretched and quite poor. But we have the panel probably closer back to its original shape and length than it has been in a while. Okay, so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little hammer and dolly to get some of the more obnoxious wrinkles out of it, and then we're gonna have to see what's involved here because that's pretty badly stretched and ripped and just overall pretty poor. Okay. Back with more. All right, we're gonna fit the uh, quarter panel one time quickly to see if the collision damage is roughed out and then we can start cutting off the trunk drop and making a new one there. Just a quick fit up. You want to be you the front guy. You're in the front, I'll be the back. Yeah, anyway, uh, very much closer already, and probably that's about the worst of it there. That'll need to be shrunk. The rest of it actually runs pretty flat now, and the big hump is out of the side of the car, which was going to make it impossible to fit anything else anyway. So the only idea of this is to take any stress out of these panels before we start cutting them up and making them longer. Yeah, right? Better? For sure. Mm -hmm. Car looks more natural now. It looked weird with that big kink in the corner. And yeah, this all sits true now. Or, yeah, that all sits flat like on this side. Next, we have to find this guy. I got one of these somewhere. It's a filler panel for the bumper. It got cut off so that we could do something, so we could get the rest of it off. Yeah, actually, big improvement. Uh, doesn't look like a big improvement. <laughs> that first glance, big improvement is not what you might think, but it's actually much better. But that'll that'll all iron out. Whatever, we'll just deal with that. Uh, this is the pattern. That much of the quarter panel is just so bad; it's not worth fixing. We're just going to make it all from scratch. Weld it onto the yellow guy and turn it into a two-door quarter. So everything from here up, very nice. Everything from here back, well, still got to do the patches on the bottom. But Christ, eh? So that's just to give us a rough idea of how much steel to cut out of that sheet of steel there. And then we're going to shape it up with the English wheel. Agent 900 just made me a wheel with this radius. So we're going to put the basic radius of the side of the car into it first and then we're going to concentrate on the flare and then we're going to put the roll and line in at the bottom. 
Then we're going to weld it all to the quarter skin and then we're going to hammer it flat and then we're going to put it on the car as one piece. It'll make it a lot easier. One of the main reasons to take the quarter skin off was that this seam here would be very difficult to hammer nice if it was still on the car. You can see it's right at the hardest part of the car to get at and you would end up not being happy with the weld. Easier to take the quarter off. All right, well, I'm very happy with that. The uh, collision damage has uh, just uh, come up almost 100%. A little bit of a stretch there and it's torn, so I'll have to shrink that and weld it back together. Everything down here is getting cut off anyway because it's garbage, but that, that uh, the light fits. It fits very, oops, it fits very nicely there. Fits nicely all the way up here. Nicely all the way down there. Uh, that is terrific news. So that is now off the list of things to do. Uh, thank you guys for uh, following along as we put this car back together. I'm really having fun with it. And uh, this is, uh, you know, this is really fun because it's for me. And uh, yeah, it's a nothing to lose car. I mean, this car was garbage. So the fact that uh, it's already come this far and uh, everything so far is working working really well very happy with that very happy with how all that's come together and whatever I mean it's uh, it's a lot of work yet but um, <clears throat> the next uh, step in the process is going to be building the front half of this quarter and the bottom I did consider doing the whole thing out of one piece, but it's just too unwieldy for one guy and I'm usually here by myself. So why not uh, salvage as much of this yellow panel as we can. Next we'll be buttoning down the, uh, the, the uh, splice on this side. Uh, yeah, then we've got lots of pieces and trim to clean up here. That's all going very well. We don't have the wheels, the correct wheels for the Cougar yet, so I'm just putting it back on um, whatever we had. The car is reassembled, but not detailed yet, so we'll be cleaning that up. Everything is going well. The panels fit and click close nicely. The windows all fit and roll up and down. Everything is looking good there. Uh, the cowl is back on. The interior fully assembled now, and the antenna is back on. That looks very nice. And uh, yeah, so actually pretty happy with how the Cougar is coming along, but uh, yeah, maybe by the end of the week, a couple more days of things to do on this guy. It's, uh, it looks like spring has finally arrived. It was one of the coldest winters in a long time, and uh, this is a treat. I mean, it's uh, it's so nice out. I don't even want to do anything, but I um, guess you still have to. Look, okay. we have a lot of adventures coming up. Hey, let's have a look at the uh, English Wheel project here. This. Uh, frame is for the English wheel. I took the wheel off a while ago to put the, we made a jig to put the bead roller in. Uh, so I'm going to put the wheel back together for making the Plymouth panel. Uh, maybe we can see this in the sun here. How'd you go, Pranger Franks? So, Agent 900 whistled this up for me. That is a 20 inch radius lower die for the English wheel which matches the side of the Plymouth. So we're going to reassemble the wheel with that on there. I also have a, a, a tighter die for the uh, top and bottom curves and the top wheel is over here. It's been sitting there idling waiting for me to get around to this so uh, and uh, that'll be next uh, fabbing up the front of the quarter panel for the Plymouth there. So uh, yeah, we'll see everybody very soon. Thanks for checking it out. Cheers.
is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. Here is the 1977 Moto Mobilette. Running smoothly after minor revisions. 216.1 kilometers from new. All functioning well. New coil. Barn find in Sanit. Just north of Victoria, bought from the son of the original owner, purchased it in 1983 from S&M Cycles on Esquimalt Road, which is, of course, no longer there. This has been a Victoria two-wheel heritage moment, courtesy of Cold War Motors, and I'm the professor. Thanks for watching.